Hello and welcome to Jang's Oriental Food Workshop. I'm Chin and this is my mum Chu. Hello! Hi YouTube, if you're new to the channel, welcome. We teach you how to do Chinese takeaway food at home. We've got loads of experience. Um, we've had takeaways since 1956. Personally, I haven't because I'm not that old. Mum isn't that old either, but my granddad. So we're, I'm third generation. That's by the by, we know what we're talking about. We also teach you how to do loads of other different styles of food, especially traditional Chinese food as well. Yes. Yes. Now if you Sorry, want... a bit quiet. I was jet lag. Yeah, mum's just got back from holiday. I've literally also got um, a crick in my neck from feeding the swans. <laughs> I deserve that. Yeah, I've pulled something in my neck, so if I'm moving weirdly, that's why. Uh, yeah. Any, anything <laughs> else? Oh, what what the video is about? Yeah. So it's all we've yeah. I don't know what it's a video about today. Is that uh, the I ribs? Call, yeah. Barbecue ribs. Yeah, so Chinese barbecue ribs is what we are doing. I used to put timestamps up so people could skip this, but because there's been such um, bell finishes, I won't say bell ends, I just said bell ends, in the comments, I'm gonna, just not gonna bother anymore. And you can watch it, comments saying too much talking. Be gone with you, I don't care. You can, you're gonna have to put up with it now. Yeah, keep watching. <laughs> yeah, keep watching. <laughs> right, let's get also guys, don't comment saying, don't worry about We Like This Bill. We know 99% of you love it. This isn't to get comments out of you guys. It's literally for that 0.1% who are just... No, I'm mine. That is, the, that is the problem. It's not my problem. Yeah. They but... can take that to sleep with them, but I don't care. No, we don't care. We cannot stop them. The hand is in their body and the mind is in their body. So there's nothing we can do. What? Anyway, none of that made any sense whatsoever. Um, yeah, I just wanted to mention that. So if you wonder where those timestamps went, they've gone. Uh, so that's why. <laughs> I'm basically trolling <laughs> trolls. That's all I'm, all I'm doing. So yeah, we'll get on with the... Um, barbecue spare ribs. Barbecue spare ribs. ribs. Yeah, let's get on with it. Yeah. We'll put a quick clip on how to cut this. Um, up after this whole ingredients thing, but this is one and a half kilos of chunky pork ribs. Yes. And then we've got one cinnamon stick. This is high quality one, so we only have to have that amount, but if you're gonna get them from Tesco's or something like that, they're usually not very good quality, so you're gonna need two of them. A good, and I mean a good handful of star anise, a teaspoon heaped of cloves, two um, teaspoons of salt, three teaspoons of MSG, four dessert spoons of garlic powder, two teaspoons of white pepper, three heaped dessert spoons of five spice, two teaspoons fennel, crushed fennel, you can use whole fennel if you want but crushed, you get a better flavour, 500 grams of white sugar, you can use brown sugar, one whole onion cut, there's about four bulbs of garlic crushed there. You can crush them with the skin. It's just that we had already peeled them for the shop, so they don't have the skin on, but you can leave them with the skin on and crush them. You're gonna need half a tin of this Li Gong hoisin. We sell this on our website, which is www. Too many W's, but jangsworkshop.com. And we sell most of these products actually on our web store. Two dessert spoons of this crushed yellow bean sauce, again, can be found on our website. You're gonna need about a shot, a good shot of this Shaoxing rice wine. We don't sell it on a website. So over the shoulder. This as well, which is preserved red bean. Inside it looks like that, it looks gross, but it is, um, really does bring out a, a lot of flavor in the barbecue sauce. You don't need that much of that. Um, one heaped dessert spoon of this will be more than enough. And then you'll need 100 grams of tomato puree. I haven't put it into a cup chili because it's easier for us to squeeze it in than it is to try and spoon out something from one of these when we're cooking. Also, not to forget, you're gonna need a lot of water. Now there's two liters here. This might not be enough. Um, you just eye it up. It has to flood and completely um, cover the ribs when they're in the pot. We are using a large 
walled pot here as well because you need quite a lot of so, uh, you need quite a lot of cooking space. Okay, so we we weren't originally going to show you this, but we thought some of you might not know what you need to look for. So you need to go to the butchers and ask for thick ribs. Thick ribs mean more meat. Yeah, you get other types of ribs as well. That the bone is actually a bit thinner, and the meat on it's not very thick. thick but um, yeah, I don't know the difference. Uh, Just go to the butcher, ask for a rack of ribs. Yeah. They'll probably will, uh, sort it out for you then, and if then, they have it. And then how you cut this is you count two or three ribs, and you just cut down the middle, straight yeah. down the middle there, all the way through this part and out. There's cartilage down here, but you've probably noticed that before when you've been eating ribs, the end bits sometimes have a massive amount of meat, or sometimes yeah. have little bits of bone there. Like These that. are yummy. Mum loves that, but yeah. So, that is the meat you are looking for. Link for the knives and stuff we use are on um, in the Amazon links below, actually. You see your ribs, don't try to cut near the bone there. You would not be able to cut it. In between the this bone and this bone, bone, not bone, this bone and this bone, there's a flesh in the centre, you just cut into the centre. You go straight down. Yeah. Sometimes the bone's warped, doesn't matter if you um, nick a bit of bone, but that's just, it's just the easiest to go straight through yep. it. This is probably one of the most simplest things to do, isn't it? Because yeah. you literally just bung it all in a pot. Yeah, that's right, let's get starting. In goes your ribs. Garlic powder, MSG. Again, you don't have to put the MSG in if you don't want to. Um, the salt, just add more salt if you really want, if you really don't want to use the MSG. Your cloves, your star anise, fennel, everything. Ah, sorry, oh, my neck just twinged. Um, the pepper, your five spice, your onions, your garlic. This is actually very similar, isn't it, to um, Tatao yes. recipe? Yes. You can you can use the tasso recipe if for this as well. Some places use the same recipe for both of their uh, what's the word? Both of them. Some will just literally you cook them in the same pot if that makes sense. In goes your sugar. Yes, yeah, a lot of sugar for barbecue. You're gonna need two heap dessert spoons of this, and I mean heap, and half a tin, and one dessert spoon of this goes. The the water. That was two litres that went in and that is I'd say enough. And you want to stir this up, mix it all in and you can switch on the heat now. Okay so what you do is you bring this to the boil and when it's boiled you turn it down to simmer and you want to simmer it for around 45 minutes yeah mum? It all depends on sometimes the ribs can be an hour. Oh. 45 minutes you, you check. The point actually yeah. Yeah it's sometimes the the, the ribs are different, yeah? Yeah, depending on how thick or thin they are. Yeah. If they're quite thick, they're going to need an hour. And then when they're finished, all you do is you pick them out and you drain them off. We'll show you what to do later, but we'll just give you a heads up now. Pick them up, drain them off, uh, and then you need to refrigerate them. Otherwise, you can't cut them. They're too soft. And then you deep fry them, but we'll show you how to do that. Okay, so I'm going to put the Xiaoxing wine in it as well. A good shot worth. I've completely forgot to do that earlier. So I'm doing that now. Um, in my opinion, I don't think you can really taste much of this, and I don't think it's really needed in ribs. I think people just put it in as a substitute for a different kind of wine that does make a massive difference. I can't remember the name off the top of my head, but it's super, super expensive. And they just use this to say, yeah, we've done it. But actually, the real, the real wine you should be using for traditional Chinese cooking isn't Shaoxing. It's a completely different version, isn't it? What's the what What's the name of the wine that they actually use when? It's Mei Gui Lu. Mei Gui Lu, yeah, and it is completely different tasting from this. Like I say, they are, in my opinion, they've only started using this to say that they're using rice wine in it. Um, I think amongst all this flavour, unless you're using half a bottle of this, which they won't be doing, that it's going to be lost. Because look at the spices in there. It's just. It's confusing, don't you agree? Yeah. yeah. Don't you don't really need that sousing wine. No. Not unless when you cook it and finish it off. Yeah. Dash it on the top, then you can taste it. But a lot of uh, takeaways won't do that. No. So. Anyway, uh, just a little bit of, of a tidbit for you there. Okay, as said before, now this is up to boiling. We're going to turn this to a low heat 
and let it sit for 45 minutes and we're going to come back and check on it. This could possibly take up to about an hour and a half, so very rare cases, hour 15, depending on how thick your ribs are. This, I'll be honest, is the kind of thing that previous cooking knowledge is helpful. Um, otherwise, you're going to have a lot of trial and error. You cook these too long, they go too soft, the bones fall out, and you're going to be left with just a mush. Don't cook it long enough and the meat isn't tender. Yeah. Uh, it's very much difficult to tell you guys in words um, without being there. Hopefully the pictures, sorry, the videos, pictures. Hopefully these videos, we can show you the texture and the shrinkage of the meat where it should be ready to take out. But until then, it's very much uh, practice. Yeah, go by the eye. Yeah, it is very much go by your eye. We'll try our best to yeah. show you see, they exactly said what you need. Yeah. Anyway, so. 45 minutes and we'll, yep, we'll be back. back. Right, so it's been about 45 minutes. Um, the, the, I nearly said the beef. The pork is looking like it's not gonna need too much longer, I'd say. Actually, no, feeling it. Feeling it, it's gonna need at least another 20, 30 minutes. Right, okay, so these are ready now and you can tell because the meat is slightly starting to come off the top layer. Any more than this and they're going to be overdone and you won't be able to finish them off. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take these out of the liquid and refrigerate them. And they need to be refrigerated until they go cold because what happens is when they're warm like this and you try and cut them it will actually just fall apart. Cool them down so it will cut through because it makes the flesh tough and then you deep fry them. Um, we'll do that in the next phase. Right, so as said before, this is barbecue sauce. The um, okay, so the byproduct of making Chinese ribs or tassel, Chinese roast pork, is barbecue sauce. So this is left over. All you need to do is sieve it off. You can freeze it or you can use it pretty much straight away. But yeah, this is barbecue sauce. So these have been cooling down for about 40 minutes now. Don't leave them out for longer than 90. They're unsafe to eat if you do that. But yeah, so these are going to go into the fridge and they're going to stay there overnight. These have been sat overnight, as you can see. Hiya! Oh, we're um, dressed completely, well, mum is. I always wear a black t-shirt because um, okay. I'm cool like that. Uh, so yeah, so these have been sat overnight. What you're going to need now for the next stage is to cut these, which we'll show you how. We're going to be doing two different types of ribs, a dry ribs and a barbecue sauce rib. Like I said, this is just um, the byproduct of actually making the ribs, which is actually barbecue sauce. It's what they're using the takeaways. You can you just sift this, put it in here. There's about 300 milliliters. You won't need all of this. You'll need some extra water as well. The lemon, that's for the dry, because squeezing lemon over ribs when they're dry is incredible. You need some MSG, one teaspoon, sorry, half a teaspoon, and two teaspoon heaps of sugar. That will go into the barbecue sauce. Um, and we'll get on with this. Yeah, mum? Yeah, cornstarch. Oh yeah, sorry, thank you. Oh, sorry, I forgot to mention you need potato starch um, to thicken up your barbecue sauce because this is concentrated right now. You need to add water to it. And I also forgot you're going to need roughly 500, no, I, I reckon there's about a litre, a litre of oil in there to fry these off. Um, we're not going to show you how to prep all of these, but most places will do large batches, cut them up, freeze them, and then defrost them as they needed. Now, if you want to know how to defrost them, all you do is you take them out of the freezer the day before and leave them in your fridge. And then just before you want to use them, take them out for 90 minutes and leave them on the side. That should make sure they're thoroughly defrosted before you um, you go to cook them. Just cut it down. Make sure it's in the center there. There's two bone here. In the center is just meat. You just cut on the meat there. Push your knife down, that there. When you get near the bottom of the rib, you might be thinking you're going through bone. That's No, you're just going through cartilage and you can cut straight through that. Yeah, like this. So that's cartilage, that's not bone. So you just keep repeating this process until they're all cut. Right, so we've got the oil on and now you need to heat this up to what about, Mum? About 180. Yeah, about 180 degrees C this needs to be at. Um, you don't want it too hot, otherwise you'll burn the ribs before they're cooked inside. So now what you want to do is you want to place these gently into the oil. I can't stress that enough. Turn it down to raw heat as you put it that in, all right? These are going to spit. You want to take some of that stuff off the top because that's just literally 
some of the sauce left yeah. over from um, the outside of the ribs. Takeaway owners hate doing ribs because it dirties oil very yes. quickly. Well, it's nearly done. Look at that. Ooh. It's a little bit longer, I'd say. Yeah. Right, so what you'll find is the smaller pieces will be cooking a lot faster than the larger pieces. There's no problem whatsoever with you taking out the smaller pieces first. That's what they would do in a takeaway. Yep, they're, they're all good. Yeah, it's all done. So now for the next step. So, we're gonna pour the barbecue sauce into this tub. Put all of that in there, 300. We won't be using all of that sauce. And I'm just gonna put some water in here. So there's roughly about 100 millimeters of water going into that. Adding the half teaspoon of MSG and the sugar. You just heat this up. Okay, so we literally just want to heat this up to um, it's boiling, and then when it boils, you want to turn it down to a low heat and then let it simmer for two or three minutes and thicken. Thicken it. You don't need a lot of uh, potato starch as this is already quite thick in its own right. Put a drop at a time. I like my barbecue sauce quite thick. Some places will have it thin and I just don't like it. Bit more, yeah? yeah. For me, the barbecue sauce should stick to the ribs and not fall off it. But you know, each to their own. Right, so here we go. Sorry about the autofocus. Until we can afford a new camera, it's going to have to be like this. Um, uh, just dropped the lemon. Right, so here we are. We got our ribs here. Me and mum always prefer it with the lemon on, so we'll squeeze the lemon. And then we will eat the um, loads and loads of lemon. Looking good. And um, actually, I'll try lemon more first. You first, mum. I, I like this one. Yeah. Why is that? I like the fat. Yeah, the end of it. Oh, <laughs> More lemon. More lemon. Just so it's fair, I'm gonna try these ones. Mmm, barbecue one kind. Barbecue and a bit of lemon is nice as well. Is it? Yeah. There we go, that's how to do ribs. Sorry, I forgot. I can feel stuff in my teeth, drawback of ribs, but they're awesome. I've been cooking, I've been eating. You said it right that time. No. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I've been cooking, I've been eating. Mm -hmm. I've been cooking, I've been eating. If you like to support the channel, by all means, become a Patreon. They get extra content like vlogs, written recipes, and then higher tiers get other things as well. But if you can't, just thank you for being here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they also get the names in the credits, in case you're wondering who those people are Press there. Like. Or and subscribe yes press like and subscribe these people are up here they're our patreons so thank you to you guys and thank you thank to you, you for watching mm. so anyway mom's gonna carry on eating yeah and uh see you next time oh, nice Cheers. bye, bye. <laughs>